All right, so we got this nice fancy couch from El Dorado, which is a pretty nice couch. Uh, we're still waiting on the recliner that goes on the other side of that console there. But one disappointing thing was that the console didn't come with anything inside of it. Something very commonly used, uh, a USB charger. So we thought it would be nice to maybe see if we could add a USB charger uh, inside the console where the cup holders are. And then the, when the recliner goes on the other side of it, it'll be a nice place for a couple people to charge their devices while they're watching television or something. And so we picked up this nifty little uh, in-desk USB charger, six amps. So it's, uh, it'll charge a couple of tablets and a couple of phones simultaneously. It's got four ports on there. And it's got a tiny little indicator light, which won't do much except for at least acknowledge that it's powered. And then a standard standard little figure eight plug there. This cord is a little short for what we need, but we've got a spare. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to mount this right here in the back. And this is how we're going to do it. Make it work. Well, don't drop the drill into That's the bad. furniture. Now, why are we not doing this from the other side? I'm asking myself. Because I didn't think that was going to be big enough. All right, let's go. Ready? Nice little plug pulled out of there. We're gonna do some deburring here. Hopefully this will turn out okay. It's surprisingly uh, thick plastic here. It's gonna comment on your lovely centering of that hole too. Well, I had some guides. I'm, oh, I'm just gonna try to deburr this until it's uh, the right size. That would be great if you could do it that way. Yeah. It's gonna Clean. It's very circular. Sort of. Circular enough. The trick is, these things are cheap. Open and lock. Okay. Keep changing from the inside of the radius to the outside, which helps to keep it skinny. We're starting to we're starting to starting to lose our round and our tools. <laughs> Let's see how far we've gotten. If we've gotten a decent distance, then I'll keep using this method. We're actually, uh, we're done. Look at that. Oh, wow. She fits, she fits. Clean this out before the wife sees it. She only likes these projects after, after they're done. So there's that. I'm not gonna put this in permanent like because I want to be able to get it back out. We're gonna flip this thing over and uh, hot glue. All right, so now we're just going to uh, put a little force on this bugger inside here, which it seems to be doing pretty good. We're just gonna goop the heck out of it. This thing is in the way. Oh, I see. So hot glue this up, but then the mechanism that has the charging just slides in there and holds in place with friction. Yeah, that's right. That's all that's really. And then you can take it back out later if you have to do something with it. Correct. We're really making this so we'll never be able to take it out again. So I'm really hopeful that we never have to. All right. So we have this. So. Once this is ready, and the glue's all set up, which is still still solidifying there a little bit, we're gonna take this fabric, roll this fabric back out, we're gonna staple this back down, and then we're going to need a way for the power cable to get through, so we have these nifty little grommets, and these little grommets are a two-part grommet, they've got some uh, poking bits on the inside there, and a place for them to 
seat into on this one. And so it actually came with a little template. This is them. They seem to be pretty good. Um, came in a pack of eight for, I don't know, $6 or something. And uh, came with this nifty little template right here, which oh, you can yeah, see. That thing. Yeah, I thought that was clever. I didn't know that was coming. So we're just going to uh, take our uh, silver paint marker so that we can cut this out. When all else fails, read the instructions. Let's see. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Uh, it's for curtains, I guess. Uh, mark. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Um, yeah, okay. Doesn't really say. Doesn't really give good. Just says cut. So we're just going to cut it. <laughs> we're going to have to do some eyeballing. That's sophisticated. Looks like uh, those things are. Looks like all the ink is inside the hole, so I'm going to cut favoring the inside of this. If I can do that with a sharp enough blade here. The cheap ones will just spread out on you when you get to the bitter end like that. Alright, so now, I don't know which side is the outside or the inside. I'm going to put this pokey one on the inside. So on the outside and see what happens. I feel like a surgeon's assistant right now. Scalpel doctor? Look at that. Nice little grommet. Perfect. Alright, so I'm going to start pulling this back across here and stapling, because if we're going to prove it works, it's got to work the right way. It's good soft wood, so this is going in nicely. All right, that is all the stapling will do. Some of you may notice this as a drawbar hammer with the drawbar nut and the nice brass or bronze head but and I'm using it for furniture because what would you normally use that for this is for the drawbar on the milling machine ah. draw it's a nut on the top that draws the draws the um, call it up into the mandrel but this was a gift to me when I got my first milling machine and uh, turns out not be too big. No working. Oh no. So it's become uh, kind of an all in one anytime I want to not. Uh, it's got a lot of weight to it. So we're going to try to dangle this bugger down until. Works, we got the cable out. Yay. All right. Now we can turn this thing back over. Go back to filming like humans. <laughs> So this is kind of the end product of the, on the bottom. You can see that the uh, cable looks very nice. It goes in there. We're going to put the uh, foot back in place. Hopefully I lined up these holes adequately enough. I did to get that foot back in place. That'll keep us from, in theory, that'll keep us from pinching the wire. All right, here we go. Cable in place. Shove that bad boy back down in there. And uh, push, push, Gah! done. All right, so let's see what happens when we plug this in. This is USB, so we'll have to try three times to plug it in, probably. Oh, you got it the first time. Look Ding. at that. It. Well, and this is how it turned out. Looks pretty good. We'll put a couple of shorty USB cables in there, and uh, anybody sitting here will be able to charge their device. We have these nice little cables that have both Apple and Android ends on them, and uh, they'll just get stored in there. That way, anybody can charge their device whenever they want. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Make it work.